Finally tonight, one of the great success stories in the world of wildlife, the return of green sea turtles to the coast of Florida, decades after they were first placed on the endangered species list. There's been a major increase in nesting this year, capping a remarkable recovery. Here's NBC's Mark Potter. On a remote beach along Florida's east coast, newly hatched green turtles struggle toward the water's edge to begin their life at sea. Once faced with extinction, green turtles are now on a remarkable comeback, a success story cheered by environmentalists. They're majestic, charismatic animals that intrigue us. The world without them would be a poorer place. Green turtles eat seagrass, and adults can weigh more than 400 pounds. In the spring, females crawl ashore at night to dig nests in the sand and to lay their eggs, which hatch nearly two months later. Because they're easily captured, green turtles were long harvested for food and nearly disappeared. We ate a lot of them, and we almost ate every one of them. But in 1978, the U.S. added green turtles to the endangered species list to protect them. Biologists counting turtle nests at the Archie Carr National Wildlife Refuge in Florida are astounded by the results. Where there were only 62 nests in Florida in 1979, there are 35,000 this year. It can take green turtles 20 to 30 years or more to mature and begin building nests like this which is why scientists say it has taken so long since they were put on the endangered species list to see such positive results now. But green turtles still face other threats, such as fishing lines, hooks, and nets. And at the Turtle Hospital in the Florida Keys, many are treated for aggressive viral tumors, the cause unknown. We have so many more at higher percentage coming in with tumors all over them, and it gets over their eyes where they can't see and they starve. Scientists also worry that rising ocean levels and seawalls will destroy their nesting sites. Every day, twice a day at high tide, the whole beach is going to be covered with salt water. Still, the nesting explosion now is seen as a hopeful sign that conservation measures can work to restore a valued species that nearly went away. Mark Potter, NBC News, Melbourne Beach, Florida.